Now, this is how you can set parental controls on your Android phone. Let's get started. So naturally, we're going to head over to the settings and on the main page, what we need to do is to scroll down to a section, which is in my case called digital well-being and parental controls. So when you get inside, you can see how much time is spent using individual apps. So it is very useful even for yourself to track it, right? So it's just like good information. But below, if you scroll down, you can find some app timers. So that's very useful already because you can choose a specific application from the list and give it an 70 day time limit, right? So that might be very useful to do that. And if you just select it, right, you can choose very specific amount of hours and minutes and it will just work fine for that, right? So that that's basically how uh, it kind of kind of works. But that's naturally just the first step. There is also the volume monitor and driving monitor, but below it, you can find parental controls. And as you can see, it allows you to add content restrictions and set other limits to help your child balance their screen time, right? So you can click on that. You can just continue with, with it as it just tells you, right? So you can follow the descriptions and stuff. And... If, it, if you want to set it up, you essentially only can leave one account set up for that device, right? So you have to sign out of all other accounts and you can manage all of the other things in there only for one Google account. So you'll have to just proceed with that and essentially just set up all of the controls as you wish. But what I also want to show you is that there is a dedicated app from Google called Family Link. And using this, you can also just set it up and just connect to your uh, child's account and specifically uh, just connect their Google account. So no matter which device they use it with, you'll be able to pick a Gmail address and add some information and just create, you know, like your Gmail or like family link for your child's Gmail account. So these are like the two approaches. Let me know below in the comments how exactly you want to proceed or which one you like more. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.